Do you like crazy stories? Yes. Great. Because <laughs> I have a story for you. So let's imagine we are in a parallel universe on a planet just like ours, but with violet water. Green kangaroos are the most interested in programming species on this planet. Evolution is a bit weird here, so in order to become stronger, primarily in legs, rules have to program. This is Alex. Alex likes to jump, obviously, and to improve stuff. And Alex has just learned that if she gets better at coding, she can jump higher. She got so excited, so she learned UI development basics in almost no time. Wow, I can do everything with those new skills. I can share knowledge through websites, inform other kangaroos about important things, and change the world. What else do I need to learn to become even more jumpy and to be able to solve actual problems? Well, that's just overwhelming. Do I need to learn everything from that map to start my career as a developer? How do I know if I'm good enough to get a job? I guess I have to just try and see what they'll say. At least I'll know what to learn next. So she went to a job interview to get some feedback and review, but she got a job offer instead. This is the place where I'm going to learn what's important and help others. First day was tough. Oh, there you are. Learn this by Monday before you get your first project. So, <laughs> you're writing HTML and CSS, huh? So you were a programmer? And JavaScript? Who said JavaScript? Horrible language. <laughs> OK. They know I'm just a fraud. Maybe he's right. And I'm not a real programmer. So she was learning. At the office, in a bus on her way to the office, and on her way back, at evenings, and on weekends. <coughs> OK. Now I'm bad at it. I'm going to feel myself confident, finally. Uh, maybe tomorrow. She continued learning hard. There was only one kangaroo at work who encouraged her. He helped her when she got stuck, and he always was open, honest, and caring. He believed in her even more than she believed in herself. A few weeks later, he was fired because of mistake. Oh. If they fired him, I have to be very careful. Failure is not an option. It was a challenge to receive any constructive feedback, so she couldn't tell if she did her job good enough. All rockstar programmers from social networks joined in her mind into one big picture of developer superhero, who writes ideal code from the first attempt, does open source, teach newbies, gives talks, has a blog, a podcast, a video blog, also writes code in Java, Python, Go, Ruby, C++, Haskell, knows exactly what DevOps means, hacks hardware, hacks software, and is aware of any little detail about every language, framework, or tool. She wanted to be that superhero. Sitting late nights, staring at the screen, focused and horrified, trying to learn everything the world knows about programming. It became a habit. Managers loved her ability to learn things fast. They put her on a new project every two or three months, sometimes on multiple projects at the same time. And when she complained it is tough, they ignored. Seems like everyone is okay with the way things are going, so I have to try harder, I guess. Each time there was completely new tool set, so previous project-related knowledge was thrown away. And it felt like not that much of a progress was happening. To compensate, Alex was still in time from her lunches and weekends and even vacations. And she was angry with herself when things that she recently learned were forgotten, because, you know, not enough time to be that forgetful. But superheroes shouldn't complain. Learning in fear without feedback and support during three years is impressive. Doing so, you not only get to know almost every JavaScript framework, you also get anxiety and burnout.
But again, superheroes shouldn't complain. Alex tried to do her best to help juniors every time they asked. She knew how hard it is to develop skills without a mentor, and she wanted to be that mentor for someone. It is incredibly scary to answer questions when you are an imposter, but helping others worth it 100%. So Alex wanted to be a better teacher and to become a great speaker one day, and she attended conferences. Somehow she got lucky with a diversity ticket to an international conference abroad. <laughs> yeah. She didn't even speak English good enough to communicate easily, but kangaroos at the conference made her feel like a part of the community. Famous programmers were chatting with her like with equal, and they were junior developers, confident and relaxed, excited what they did at their jobs. So it felt like amount of knowledge or years of experience aren't that important. Eventually, someone Bayer programmed a hotfix directly into Alex's brain. You don't need to be a superhero to feel valuable. When she came back, she left her company. It wasn't bad, it was just not a good fit for an imposter. Finally, she understood that she was the most important project she'll ever have. Don't you dare put yourself on a backlog. She took some time for herself. Number one goal was to protect the branch so the commit won't be reverted. <laughs> she wrote a list of possible reasons that kept her self-esteem low. If I fight them and win, I will no longer feel like a fraud. So reason number one, unrealistic expectations. No one knows everything, even experts even experts on social media. So, <laughs> to be this enemy, Alex deleted her bookmarks guild folders that she'll never find time for. Now she keeps only her own summary notes, and it means that she needs to read carefully before she can save the material. It helps to prioritize and to focus on the most important topics. And she avoids spending time on social networks, so superhero doesn't exist anymore. Reason number two, toxic environments. You know that phrase, when airplane is crashing, put on your oxygen mask first, and it's practical. Before you'll be able to speak up and inspire others to change their behavior, you need to be sure that you are not broken. And if it gets overwhelmingly tough, there is someone who you trust, who has your back. Alex did so by surrounding herself with compassionate kangaroos who care about others. It might be harder to find those, but there are inclusive communities we can start with. Reason number three, deadline motivation. It is not popular to put, I care about my team, my project, and my users on a skills list in LinkedIn, but it should. Instead of learning in fear of deadline, Alex focuses now on what's important, on the impact. She improves her knowledge not to collect skills, but to use it as a tool to help others. Unknown is not scary anymore. It is exciting. Reason number four, lack of constructive feedback. There always will be room for improvement. And it is hard to remember what you've done right looking at ambition's goal. So Alex decided to use her favorite debugger here and to lock her achievements, even small ones, especially small ones. So as soon as she notices how great, how badass she is, or how world around her is amazing, she logs it. Logging her achievements made Alex happy. She didn't even notice it. Uh, there was one more enemy out there. She was so happy, she couldn't keep all the happiness inside. So she shared it with everyone who agreed to listen. She was so into sharing fun stories that she started to celebrate fails. Now she got two lists, one for wins and another for failures. Both are equally incredible <laughs> and deserve respect, yeah. Because failures are a part of life and sometimes stories about them are even better than stories about wins. So why not to give her first talk at a conference 
in a language she can barely speak in. Why not to tell others about her greatest fail? What can go wrong? After all, even if everything goes wrong, she'll have a great story to tell, right? That's exactly what I'd do if I was her. Thank you.